Welcome! For a very long time, I used to mix up alligators and crocodiles, so I thought that would be cool to make a video about that. After all, it's both interesting and educating. And in this video, I would like to compare three groups or families of crocodilians. The alligatoridae, consisting of alligators and caimans, the crocodilidae, consisting of the crocodiles, and the Gavialidae, made up of only the Gariel. It's quite easy to tell Gariels and Caimans apart from the rest of them, but to the untrained eye, crocodiles and alligators really look similar. The common thing about them is that both of these species belong to a number of the most ancient inhabitants of the Earth, surpassing in age further dinosaurs. They appeared about 200 million years ago, and in the course of evolution their appearance hasn't changed almost. Crocodilians can live on both land and water. Their eyes located in such a way that makes them be able to keep an eye out for their prey, and their pupils are vertical slits, which are capable of expanding to catch more light, thus giving them excellent night vision. And don't be fooled by the fact you can't see their ears. Their hearing is so sharp, they can hear their offsprings inside the eggs. Have you ever seen those tricks when a person holds his arm in crocodiles or alligator's jaws? At first, it looks... Oh, how do I put it? Not impressive, maybe? But it's really dangerous, so long as crocodiles are able to produce up to 5,000 pounds of pressure per square inch when they bite something. This gives the crocodile enough power to bite through a human leg or arm with no problem. To put it into perspective, the human jaw is only able to produce 100 pounds of pressure per square inch. Think about that. This is, in short, some common characteristics of alligators and crocodiles. And now, let's dive into differences between them and first compare their appearance. Difference number one. The shape of their snout. It's perhaps the simplest way to distinguish between a crocodile and alligator. Crocodiles have long, narrow, V-shaped snouts, whereas alligators have shorter, U-shaped snouts. The alligator's broad snout is designed for strength, capable of standing up to the stress caused to the bone from the massive amounts of pressure that are used to break the shells of turtles and other hard-shelled creatures, which form part of their diet. The crocodile's pointed snout isn't quite as strong as the alligator's, but it can still withstand the large amount of pressure that a crocodile packs behind its back. Difference number two, jaws. The upper and lower jaws of the crocodile are essentially the same width. They have a large, protruding fourth tooth on the lower jaw that is accommodated by depression in the upper jaw just behind the nostrils. The alligator, however, has a wider upper jaw, allowing the lower teeth to fit into it snugly, effectively hiding them from view. Only the teeth of the upper jaw are exposed along the lower jaw line. Difference number three – skin color. An adult alligator's skin is usually a darker, grayish-black color, but the skin of adult crocodiles is usually a lighter brown color. It can be explained by the type of habitats they live in. Alligators prefer darker water, like swamps or slow-moving rivers. Yet crocodiles live in lighter colored waters, making a lighter skin tone more suitable for camouflage. Difference number four, lingual salt glands. Compared to alligators, crocodiles have salt glands on their tongues. Although not obviously noticeable, they can be seen when crocodiles bask in the sun out of the water when their mouths open. This means that a crocodile can tolerate more salty water than an alligator, and that difference leads us to the next one. Difference number five, habitats and location. Crocodiles live in parts of North, Central and South America, 
and can be found in areas of Africa, Australia and the southeast part of Asia. Alligators, on the other hand, can be found in the eastern section of China and the southern area of the United States and are most common in states along the Gulf Coast. Difference number 6. Size and weight. Usually, alligators are smaller than crocodiles, but on the other hand, crocodile size varies between species, from the dwarf crocodile to the saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocodiles can grow to sizes over 7 meters and weigh about 1000 kilograms. When it comes to alligators, their weight is between 360 kilograms to 450 kilograms and they can reach up to 4 and 3 meters. These are the most noticeable differences between crocodiles and alligators. Of course, in some ways, they differ in their diets, nesting, first appearance, dermal pressure receptors, but these are the details. Maybe I will make a video about that some other time. Now, shortly, I will tell you about caimans and gharials. Similar in appearance, both gharials and caimans are long reptiles with extended snouts. Caimans are typically smaller than alligators and crocodiles. They have dagger-like teeth that are visible when jaws are closed. Just like crocodiles, they have salt glands, but they are non-functioning, therefore caimans cannot live in salt water. The gharial is one of the longest of all living crocodilians, measuring up to 6 and 3 meters. The gharial is characterized by its extremely long, thin jaws, which are regarded as an adaptation to a primarily piscivorous diet. Gharials can be found in India, Pakistan and Nepal. That would be all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Until the next time.